Bogdark, our friends. Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here. And once again, it is time for another Orc Mode workout. And today was max effort lower day, but a quick reminder for those of you who watch these videos, please click like down below. Help me keep those likes higher than the dislikes. All right, uh, hit decent training matches on two lifts today. I've realized I need to address my weak points. We've got to do more of the safety squat bar. I bought it, I have it, let's do it. So I need to keep working up and I've realized realistically I have already estimated that my squat goal, my back squat goal of hitting 600, that I need to get to approximately 510 with this bar. Okay, 510. That is what I need to get to. That's my minimum. My minimum number, especially because it addresses my weakest links upper back, but it hammers my quads too, which is interesting. But I think one of the things that's interesting is that we know that I've been working in the weak links because uh, I got a 20 pound PR on it. And people already said who saw the other one, they're like, mm, looks like you left a little bit in the tank. I, I probably did. But that's only because I only left a little bit in the tank. Had I tried to go much heavier, I would have got just pulled over at the top. Okay. But it's 471. Now, we could run the math over and say, well, that's that's 40 pounds away. Well, realistically, because I've hit 565 with one of my other bars, it's 35 pounds from the goal. But what about the straight bar? I only did 545 with that straight bar, and that was hard. But again, it really, really, we saw my weak links coming out there. We know that I have strong hamstrings, strong low back. Like, they're absurdly strong. And we've seen that from supplemental work. Now, I'd argue I need more glute, more adductor, things like that for certain other lifts. My hamstrings and my erectors are insane. And every coach who's seen my supplemental lifts also agrees. It's not my opinion. So, realistically, realistically, we, we know what we need to hit. But those... My upper back, my quads, all of that need some work. And I, because I feel so much quad of those, and I felt so much quad with that straight bar. My quads were, were getting a little crampy after that. I had to get a massage them. Also went over and pulled a, a decent, decent pull. Went up to 575 today. Pulled it. Now, the lockout blast through it. People will notice where it's that little bit of weak point right around the knee just as you're clearing the knee. Yep. It's my weak link. And a lot of that is arguably, arguably, I think a little bit of glute, arguably some glute, and, you know, upper back, middle back. I need to get my lats, traps, thoracic erector stronger, I need more glute. And people can argue, well, you have strong glutes, doesn't matter that I have strong glutes. Of course I have strong glutes, I just pulled 575. You guys have seen me do on a rackable cambered bar at 565 squat which is a little more glute dominant than a lot of other bars so we know I've got strong glutes I don't have 700 pound deadlift glutes okay so we need more glute we definitely need to hammer up our back and we could argue even though my quads are jacked my quads sure get beat up by some of these lifts now is it mainly because I have big quads and they'll contract hard all this stuff, possibly. But I need to keep doing my sled drags. I need to keep doing these lifts that hit those areas. We could argue all day long about my squat as to the upper back versus quad. People will have two schools of thought on that. I feel it's upper back, but let's just hit both. We'll hit both by doing lifts like this. Uh, and these were hard. Oh man, I only did two sets. Couldn't even get to a third. My quads were so cramping, so hard. Between since I was massaging them, I'm like, let me just chill on this. That's all they can handle. Okay, kind of like my pecs with the with the dips. My pecs were at their limits; couldn't handle anymore. Okay, these things happen. So, what do we do? Get in, massage everything, or get, keep training it. So supplemental work mainly adjust it with the GPP. I need to I keep working on that work capacity for my quads. I haven't been doing as much sled dragging lately due to weather. So I've been doing more loaded carries. Which I think it's one reason we're seeing my grip and stuff come up. 
you know, grip is holding really strong. Probably a factor. But, uh, you know, quad work capacity could be suffering a bit. Because, again, weather has kind of been somewhat of an issue. I've only been dragging a sled once a week for just a little short time instead of more. So, you know, more sled dragging will help. And I said, let me throw 515 on the bar and see if we can am wrap it. What can we get? I, I got four. Four was hard. You know, and that's not my best. When I pulled the 625 off of a deficit, you guys saw me deficit pull 515 for five. I think like the week before I did it too. Right? So we've got a little bit of catching back up to do. Ooh, well. But I'm going to do the glute bridges because I want to make sure my glutes are strong. And yes, I'm pushing the weight really hard. Some of these reps are not quite the, the range of motion I might like in at least one of the sets. I did an extra one because the first one was so bad. Just getting into position. But uh, again, realistically, what do we need to be looking at? I think we need to be able to do five reps on a glute bridge with whatever we can conventional deadlift. We're going to work with fives. We need to be pretty close to our deadlift with that weight. Okay. And if we are, then we know our glutes are no longer a weak link. But the other point that can be made, I do need to do some additional glute work. Because I can tell there's some, some glute issues and hip issues in general with certain variations. Some of them are really wide squatting, uh, sumo deadlifts, things like that. So this will address some of those areas. And it comes out to the point of we can never have glutes that are too strong. We're going to put more work into certain things like upper back that need it more. But I want to work on some glute bridges. And I'll work good mornings back in coming up here soon. I've got to figure out how to work on them into the rotation. You know, making everything fit. See that first rep, I didn't even count that one. It's just trying to get into position. And it, it's hard to get set up and get comfortable on these when you start getting real heavy. One of the things I noticed when we started approaching 500 plus pounds, you know, there's a comfort issue at a certain point with this lift. Now the main thing though is that I'm moving it, getting the glutes and hip extensors involved. And then I tried to mess with some other stuff and realized I can't do it. I've wanted to mess with some cleans today. My shoulder is not good enough for that yet. It just, I couldn't get even get into a proper rack position with a light weight, just messing around with it. Get the weight up to a certain extent, but getting under it, mm -mm, not happening. So, you know, decided to do shrugs instead after this, but I went ahead and did my reverse hypers. Uh, my 560 for three sets of 25. Again, one of my most important low back exercises, hamstring, glutes, all that. So again, hitting all of those areas, keeping my low back strong, keeping it healthy. Uh, you know, name of the game. Big reason I have this device. And yes, I, I understand I use a lot of weight on it. No, you're not supposed to hold and contract it at the top. It doesn't work very well. It's on a roller bearings with grease where we actually have circ fittings and everything um, you're not going to hold this with any weight like not even with a light weight it just tends to swing back down I'm just trying to slow the eccentric so it doesn't swing all the way under um, and what I need to even really do that is we're getting up past 500 that's just what I need to do the rep ranges um, and realistically I'd start going heavier but I can't fit it on really with what I have for plates there's not much room left uh, so we're kind of stuck with the really high rep ranges at least the way I'm doing them right now yeah, is what it is but it hammers that area works everything so again 563 sets of 25 and then I decided to do some shrugs at the end and I think it's a good indication that my, my grip is coming up that's what the de one of the deadlift bars I use my my least favorite deadlift bar it's just my Ohio bar and I'll need to eventually compare the two and review them I think the Texas bar is a better bar and I'm saying that objectively as someone who has invested the money in both used both I like the Texas bar better but I decided to use the Ohio bar for stuff that's a little more wear and tear for so for the shrugs in a minute which footage will come up I managed to squeeze out uh, 315 for three sets of six Again, decided to just work my whole traps, upper back, and it's some extra grip training, which, you know, always useful. 
So, and I haven't done any shrugs in a while. So I'm like, well, if I can't do cleans, let's do some shrugs, right? Let's build traps. Build more trap, build more trap. We need more trap. It's one of those muscles that, again, can't be too big and strong. Because I'm doing a slightly bit over angle, we're working more than just the upper trap. And again, using a, a pretty heavy weight, getting a good stretch and contraction on it. But also helps train the grip because I'm not doing some of the bodybuilder style really to where we're, we're doing a slow and controlled. It's just a, a nice squeeze and contract, trying to just get a good range of motion. But because I'm not doing that, I'm not strapping up, it's good grip training too. So it's kind of killing two birds with one stone. Getting a little bit of grip work in while working my upper back because again all this is part of the upper back upper back there's a lot of muscles involved and we need to build all of it i've got to get it stronger and so we're going to use a lot of different tools to do that all right guys but that's really all i have to say on that today i hope it's been informative and i will talk to you guys next time